Hey guys, this is Nia. Welcome back to my channel. So you might be wondering what this is. Well, after I swatched all those student and hobby watercolor sets last video, I was actually thinking of doing a cheap art supply challenge. I mean, how hard could it be? I use cheap stuff all the time and they work fine. It might not be the most vibrant thing, it might be a bit harder to control, but I thought as long as there's still watercolors it should be fine and so I thought <laughs> I looked around for cheap watercolors and I came across this set I saw this online and I instantly bought it I never knew such cheap watercolors exist so this cost me 7,500 rupiah which converted in US dollars is around 52 cents not even a dollar it's only 52 cents i was completely mind blown so i thought i definitely definitely need to get this in jakarta where i live um we're not really big with dollar stores and things like that we do have a daiso but the daisos that i've been to doesn't even sell watercolors and the only watercolors that i could get are from stationery shops and even if they're hobby quality it's like Giotto or something which is kind of a well-known brand for um, kids art supplies it's cheap it still costs around four to five dollars when it's converted to USD but this is something else <laughs> so when I first looked at the set online the set kind of looks familiar to me I think I've seen it when I was very little or something the packaging looks very familiar so I didn't even know if this is a super old set or if they were still producing it and I'm getting a new set but only one way to find out right I wanted to paint something that would require me to use all of the colors so I thought a burger would be good because I can just stuff a lot of ingredients in there and make something colorful to tell you the truth, getting into this, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult. I thought, how bad could it be anyway? So I actually wanted to challenge myself and paint this on print paper. But after just seeing the consistency of the paint, after squeezing it out of the tube, I totally backed off that idea. I thought, oh boy, if I went along with that idea, I'm definitely getting ahead of myself because... I instantly knew I was going to be in for a very interesting paint session. I did use watercolor paper for this, my cheapest watercolor paper that I have, which is only 200 GSM and it's a cellulose paper. It's not that sturdy. Even with this paper, um, it kind of got damaged a bit because the paint, this paint, whatever it is, required a lot of water. So I can't imagine what it would be like if I were to paint on print paper. This paper cost me around 30,000 rupiah for 10 A4 sheets, which would be around $2.15 with the current rates. For the brush, I used my cheapest brush, which works fine. It's a synthetic brush, cost me around 40 cents when it's converted to USD. I use this a lot. I do not do fine arts painting, rather just illustrations, so just a standard ground brush is completely usable. And for my palette, I decided to use a plastic paper plate just to stick with the cheap art supply challenge vibe or somewhat. When I first got to see the consistency of this paint after squeezing it, it was so runny that I thought I wasn't squeezing the paint out but instead I just got some fillers or something but it doesn't even look that way it was literally just watered down paint it's more like very cheap watered down poster paint which does not reactivate when it's dry on your palette which is really odd I've never used something like this of course I didn't know this when I squeezed all of the paint on my palette but even as I was just watching it, some of the colors were already drying up. Luckily, I still have some on the tube, so I could just keep putting more on my palette as I paint. When I mix the colors, for some reason, it also turns a bit milky or chalky. It's fine when I just use the individual colors, but it kind of changes consistency when I'm mixing it. It doesn't really show on camera, but it was really weird and it kind of threw me off 
with the color mixing too because it wasn't that accurate because of the chalkiness and it's just changing the color to look a bit milky instead. Usually I would use musking fluid for this bun but I decided to just stick with the challenge and just paint around all of those individual sesame seeds on the bun. This was probably the most nerve-wracking part of the painting because the paint settles quite fast and even as it's drying it became very hard to smooth out the edges so I had to work quite quickly for this one. So I was thinking about this experience of painting with this paint thing when I was taking a break and the only thing that I came across to feel similar to the texture of this so-called watercolor is actually when I was painting my room. It feels and dries like wall paint. It's water soluble but once it dries it can't really be activated again and it dries way lighter than when it's wet. It even cracks like wall paint when it dries on the palette and the consistency as I squeezed it out of the tube was similar to wall paint. It was so runny. Could this just be wall paint that they just stuffed into a tube and call it watercolor? No joke, I think that's the closest thing I can actually compare this to. So I don't really have much experience with wall painting, but it really feels like no other paint. I've used poster paint, I've used acrylic, oil paint, oil-based wall paint, and this is just like those plain indoor paint. I mean, I guess that would make sense why this is so cheap. So technically, I think I just painted a burger on paper with wall paint. It's definitely something. I don't know if any of you are experienced with painting walls. What do you guys think? What paint do you feel like this is the most similar to when seeing me paint with it? Would any of you try painting or illustrating on watercolor paper with wall paint? Because I think that's what I just accidentally did. I know I have some Indonesian viewers here. You guys can have a try at getting this paint and let me know what you guys think. I'll leave the link in the description box down below and maybe you guys can give it a go. This watercolor paint is by Mr. Love Guitar. Yes, that's the brand name and I also say watercolor loosely with huge quotation marks. I've also seen another set that's by a different brand. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's around the same price, so it could also be the same thing or something similar. So maybe you can get that if you're up for the challenge. For everyone else, maybe you can take the challenge to paint with wall paint and treat it as watercolor and see if it turns out as weird and faded like mine did and if the paint cracks on the palette. I kind of want to see Jamie Jo, who's an awesome painter. She does a lot of Disney paintings and cute subjects. She also does weird challenges like painting with a fork or painting with her hair. Her latest one is of her painting with her husband's arm. If you could maybe send this message over, I'd love to see her paint with wall paint and treat it as watercolor paint on paper. I'm sure she'll be awesome at it though. She's so used to doing all sorts of weird challenges and it always turns out really well. So getting back to the subject, as you can see, the first time I laid down the paint while it was still wet, the colors looked alright, but as the paint settles it becomes really faded. This is also normal for watercolor to fade when it dries a little bit, but I've never seen anything that fade to this extent. The paint also requires a lot of water or it'll just be completely opaque even when it's really runny when you see it squeezed out of the tube the first time, which in the end kind of damaged my paper a bit because I was trying to work with, um, with the paint and kept putting water on certain areas so the paint would move a bit more, but because the paint is so opaque, it also covered up the damaged paper. I tried to layer as much as possible to see if the color would pop out more or if it was at its limit, but it didn't really seem to work. It just dries chalky and faded in the end. Maybe the colors would look a bit better if I treat it as, say, like acrylic paint instead of watercolor, so I wouldn't be diluting the paint too much. But the packaging said it's watercolor, so I decided to treat it or test it the same way as I would paint gouache or with poster paint at the very least. At 
halfway point during the painting, the paint that I squeezed out initially were also really dry, so I decided to squeeze out bit by bit on a new plastic plate to mix the paint so it doesn't dry in the middle. And I think this worked out really well because I had to really be rough with my brush to just scrape um, the drying paint from the first palette. And uh, yeah, I didn't really like that feeling. I prefer to just have it freshly squeezed whenever I need the color. I also had a sense of urgency to paint this because I felt like the paint were just drying so fast and sometimes things like this happens and even if I tried to take off the paint straight away with some tissue, some paint already seeped in but oh well. I'm just going to do some small splatters in the end to somewhat mask it. This is nothing new. A lot of you know I also have eczema and during this paint session it was kind of bad on my hands so I have no fingerprints on my fingertips um, that could grip the brush properly and with the urgency I was feeling something like that were bound to happen. It's nothing new and when it happens I just put more splatters on top to create some sort of distractions. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say. That's all the opinion I have for this one. I hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of this and I'll see you towards the end. To finish off with this painting, like usual, I like to use an opaque white paint for any highlights. This also helps to make the burger more juicy. I ended up using a dry brush technique with the white to get the most opaque color possible for the highlights. Even when it's already so runny as it is, it was still quite hard to spread out. And yeah, so that's it for this painting. This was definitely a challenge to paint. I'm so glad I followed my instinct and used watercolor paper in the end. Even if I used a lighter weight and the cheapest one I've got, it's still much better than using print paper. I would probably rip that thing apart in the first layer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it interesting. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye!